All right, so last week I set out to figure out which was the worst game on Steam. And to my surprise, it wasn't a game from a small publisher or someone that just made a game and was able to put it on Steam. No, the game is actually from Konami. And the game is eFootball 2022. And you know what? I could give Dan some slack if... You know, they're new on that type of game. But the reality is, this is just a name change from their series Pro Evolution Soccer. So, what the hell, Konami? Anyway, guys, this is your boy, Rusian. And we got to take a look on how bad this game is on this video. And just a reminder, if you guys are not subscribed, don't forget to do so. Give them that like, hit that notifications bell, and leave a comment. That helps a lot for YouTube to know that I even exist. Now, as a disclaimer, um, this game came out last year, and there have been some updates in the game. So, a lot of the issues that players had found before, uh, they don't exist anymore, or at least I did not see any of them, and that had to do with some of the animations. But there's a lot to actually look into this game. All right, so let's do it. All right, so right after starting the game, I mean, your first run at least, you're going to go through the tutorial, all right? what actually shows you how they use the mocap suits and all to capture the players. What I think is great, it gives some realism to the game. It does show you some of the basic controls on how to dribble, uh, how to release and thrust the ball right away, stuff like that. What is all great until they get to other useful moves and they just tell you you're able to do it but they don't actually show you how to do it. What I thought was very weird when all the other moves, they kind of show you in the controls. So now let's talk about some disturbing things in this game, okay? All right, first of all, those dead eyes. I mean, this is 2002 and they're using Unreal Engine right now. What? should actually have helped them to do a better job. And second thing, when I go to an international tournament and people are singing their anthems, if you notice, none of them are singing the same song. What I would expect to be a very simple thing for them to do. I mean, none of those players are in sync, so it's kind of weird. Um, luckily you can skip that part, but it's still pretty bad. All right, and then we go into the gameplay. Now, the gameplay itself is not horrible. Um, I think the only problem I have was, is how responsive the controllers are. And to be honest, like, yeah, the, the computer seems to be pretty snappy and very fluid when they play, but when you actually play the game yourself, it's not that fast. I mean, your player, he gets more control of the ball than actually just give a fast kick. It's not really bad. It's just, I don't know, it just feels weird. One other issue I found with the controls is when you go to actually kick the ball towards the goal, it is very hard to control the strength. I mean, you barely press the X and it fills up the gauge for the kick. <laughs> what is what kind of makes very hard for you to control. And the moment, you know, you fill up the gauge, your ball is not going towards the goal at all. It's going over and there's not a chance to change that. Um, kind of bad. Um, I'm still trying to work it out. I had pretty much like the easiest game ever and I got to the go multiple times and I still had issues making that kick. 
All right, so let's take a look on the player reviews. I mean, as you guys can see, it's overwhelmingly negative. And we're talking about like over 27,000 people, okay? So we come back here from Enroute 5, Know How to Ruin a Franchise 101. This game is not worth the money and it's free. That should say it all. I've been a great fan of PS series since PS 2008. After PS 2014, the game started changing drastically for the better. Until PS 2021, season update. They had two years to make the game, were promised, and they chose to take the Cyberpunk 2077 path. Pro switch from Fox to Unreal Engine. Extremely flexible cross-platform compatibility. Somewhat rewarding shooting system. And yes, the game was released incomplete. Uh, on that note, the game feels better than some of the videos I saw about when it released, but still has a lot of issues. This is the best horror game. Put PS 2013 back on Steam and make it free. Please remove this game from Steam. The kind of game you get for free and still want a refund. The retarded version of FIFA. Same game from a decade ago, except if someone had a nightmare in a parallel universe in which PS has never been developed and he's got 24 hours to recreate it from memory without any prior skill. Failing and ultimately a third person that never played the game continued their work and based on his own on a trip, trippy dream he had after taking some hard stuff. A disabled FIFA. Now, look, that's not me. Uh, that's just what people are saying. And that's pretty much why this is right now the worst game on Steam. Now, overall, to be honest, this is not a bad game. I think the biggest issue they had was they released a the game just like Cyberpunk 2077. The game was incomplete. They planned to just release updates and get things fixed. What drove a lot of the players to walk out. That does not mean that I don't think they have a lot of stuff to still fix in the game. I just believe that they completely lost the momentum in the most when most people are very invested on FIFA. So yeah, um, it may have ruined the franchise unless it makes some major changes to attract the players. And hey guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope that helped any of you to see if you like the game. The game is free on Steam, so it doesn't hurt for you to just download and check it out. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a like or dislike if you didn't like the video. Hit that notifications bell sign and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the game. As always, if you guys got to this point of the video, you guys are legends. And I'll see you in the game.